Hi guys, first of all, thank you all very much for being patient while you've waited for me to announce this competition. There's been a reason for that. I wanted to give you a month as usual, like we do on all the competitions, but I wanted it to coincide in ending around Remembrance Sunday. So there's your first clue on what this competition is going to be based around. So it's going to be a diorama with some good, good modelling on, good, good scenery, any size you want. It doesn't have to have rails on it, but it can do if you want to. The only rules of this competition is it has to be a 20th century military campaign. It can be Allied, it can be Axis, it can be First World War, Second World War, it can be Bosnia, Vietnam, Ireland, Gulf War One, you name it. Royal Air Force, Luftwaffe, you could do the Navy if you were brave enough to do a water scene. Yeah, Air Force, you do a tank scene, um, e you know, Eastern Front or Battle of Bulls, anything. The world is your oyster with this. The competition is purely just in a remembrance for the girls and guys that have gave the ultimate sacrifice in fighting in wars in the 20th century. So good luck to everyone. Any questions, please just ask me. Ask me publicly on the group, then I can answer you publicly. And hopefully if anyone else has got the same question, they can see the answer. And for the prize, obviously this is Martin's side of things. What I have been informed, he's gonna put a diorama kit together for the winner. So that will have an array of grasses, some basin glue, some of the new muds that have been released, some weathering powders, and I'm sure it'll stick some other bits and bobs in there. So that'll be your prize. You've got four weeks. I look forward to announcing the winner. Good luck to everyone, and I'll speak to you online soon. Cheers.